Hey everybody, it's Fragger. I'm here to continue with Master Treasure and Relic Collector. This is level 2 part 2 here on Achievement Hunter. Now back to the video, already in progress. Now, once you get to this section here, we have to rappel down. You just gotta, you know, rappel down. I don't know how else to explain it. Now, uh, <laughs> go to the left and crack open a pot. Now, I want to pose something, but after I mention you go to the cutscene, you've gone too far, and then in this area is where we're going to go next. Um, how does Laura fit those treasures in her backpack? I mean, those treasures are bigger than her backpack. Bigger as in, you know, depth-wise, and, you know, also the fact I have a shotgun back there, so I don't know how that fits. So, um, I'm going to pose the question to you, the viewers, via the comments. I will be reading all of the re how, how Laura, or Lara, as I've been corrected to say, even though I'm going to say Laura for the rest of the videos. Um, how does she fit these treasures in her backpack? Um, I will say the, the one I feel to be the best in one of the subsequent videos. It probably won't be the next video, because I'm probably recording it right after I record this one. And, uh, yeah. So, have fun with that, and, uh, Check back later, and you may hear yours said. So, there's that. Nice. And I do read every comment on both sites this is posted on, be it uh, Achievement Hunter and YouTube. I read both of them all the time. Now, take a look at this. After I killed this lizard, he kind of just chilled. Look at him. Whoop! Now, he looks constipated, so I'm going to give him some laxatives via my gun to, um, you know, ease the uh, the bowel movement. So, uh, we're, we're, we're already hitting a high note here when, uh, it's been two minutes and I've already used bowel movement. What else am I gonna say? Uh, actually, I'm not going to say what I might say because, you know, I could go a little far with just suggesting other things. Now, you want to do this. This is, this is, yeah. Yay! Now, warping back onto the climbing wall. Now that I'm actually going to explain these treasures, even though talking over the, even though everything's easy. Uh, top of the stairs, take a right. I have to explain that because that was a really bad cut. And now across from it, you drop down. Sorry about how badly that was cut. I had very little to work with. It was just a bitch to get, to have that recorded. I lost footage, so yeah. Now back from the start, you want to go to the immediate back left, and um, yeah, all in that area, and. Um, I mean, in that area is you're going to find a climbing wall, which is very convenient for this game. You know, they put climbing walls where you might need them, and uh, they don't put them where you want them. You know, it would be nice if it went up to the level above it, but no. I got to do what I got to do up here. Now, in the back left-hand corner from the start, obviously, is your next treasure, Kakunk 17. Yeah, just think about 17 in that in that pouch back there. Now, something I figured out after a half an hour of trying, if you go to this... Uh, in that room, or quote-unquote room, where uh, that last treasure was, if you go to the, the back area where I am now, you can wall jump back up here, which is very good in case you fuck up this jump, because this is a long jump, and if you miss the long jump, you fall down, so you have to climb all the way back up here, and that's never fun. Now, jumpy back, there's the long jump there. I, I see me mashing, I was mashing Y as soon as I leapt because I know I was going to be pressing Y there. Now, this this one's another little tricky one. You want to jump to where you can grab onto, and it seems to like the back corner a bit. If I jump towards the front of it, it didn't like to grab it when I was playing. Then again, this game tends to hate me with complicated jumps. I'll explain that where that time comes. Now here, jumpy. Pulley. Ugh. And then you're going to want to do... Another one of these wall jumps. You know, La Lara, Laura, Lara likes to do that. Now, whoop, there's a handstand to signify what we've done. So we're out of this area. Now, once you go to the interior, you're going to want to do this stuff. I, I just love this, this kind of stuff in this game where it's very, uh, I'd say, Prince of Persia, uh, Mirror's Edge-esque, where you can string together badass stuff, which is why I loved both of those games. And... I'm probably going to be playing Mirror's Edge again because I'm missing some of the speed runs, and I've been meaning to do that. But uh, yeah, climbing and doing all that crap. 
Now we're going to fast forward here in a second, just follow what I'm doing, I'm going to explain something here. In the last video I mentioned myself preferring Jumper, and a bunch of people saying, how could you like that game, it's shit. But I guess it's just the entertaining value of Jumper, where uh, Jumper is just, yay, I'm playing a semi-crappy game, while, you know, other games like Aragon or Wally are just shit, in my mind at least. There's no, There was little redeeming value. Now, once you get into this forest area, go to the back right-hand corner, and crack open a pot, and then uh, loot some more treasure. Yep. <sighs> but whoop! <sighs> more graphical fun. Here we go. Now, when I mentioned it took me, I, I've died a lot in this level more than I normally do. I mean, accidental deaths, not purpose, purpose deaths to get back uh, adrenaline, which I forgot to mention. Uh, when you die, you get full health and rege and your uh, adrenaline back, which is incredibly useful, except for on the harder difficulties, because the adrenaline means you get a free kill, pretty much. But, uh, yeah, I had some fun issues, and you see how low my health is because of fucking up a jump up here, and I'll point out the jump that you're going to want to not deal with. Those jumping on top of the pillars, I'll call them pillars even though they're not, because pretty much you do that on top of pillars. Whenever there's one of those in that game, just the, my game hated me and it killed me every time. So keep an eye out for those, and when there's ever one of these that involves jumping on those, you're going to see a lot of cutting because I die a lot doing that. Now, here's another thing I'm going to ask the viewers to, to help me out on. Now, I'm setting the stage. See how far away that is? That's a good three Laras down. Well, how the fuck did she do that? And this is the jump, exact jump that killed, that made me fall a lot, just playing it out. But, um, that's amazing. That's, that's like, uh, David Blaine type shit, where she's able to teleport herself like that. Or maybe she's a jumper. We'll never know. Maybe that's gonna be the next game. Uh, Tomb Raider 25, uh, this time it's for real. Maybe. Now, once you get into the, uh, Shiva mirror area, take on immediate right, and, oh, look at this! It's a treasure! And you'll know you're up in the area when you have to do a puzzle there. Now, on the exact opposite side of that area, this is where um, this is where you were before when I ended the video, but up another level. So, yeah. Climb it a dish. And then uh, roll over here in this corner. Man, I wish these videos were shorter. My, my, my comedy juices run, run towards their end after the sixth take. Now... There's a scorp there's a scorpion. There's a snake right there. You have to pull it down. The magnet you're gonna see the magnet icon right there. Behind him is your treasure, but if you pull him down and he hits the ground, a whole shitload of spiders come out. When they pop out, throw a grenade at them, and then you're going to probably get your kill five things with a grenade. Just letting you guys know. Now this part is incredibly complicated to explain because it was very hard to film this, but once you enter you want to take an immediate left. There's going to be a magnet to there. I mean, there's going to be a metal ring you can descend from. This is the easiest one in this in this section here because there's two. There's three treasures in your total. There's the first of three, and and the relic is in here. Now, continuing with the relic tradition of them being the hardest things to get, it's not easy. Now, once you get through a cutscene, you're going to drop down behind it, and it's going to give you yet another cutscene. Now, the goal of this is to turn it 180 degrees. Now, along the way, half about uh, three-quarters of the way through, you're going to bump into a treasure. Now, before you even get to that point, there's a treasure right behind the starting position, which is right here. It's a very easy one to get, very easy to miss. But uh, there it is. Now, what you want to do is you want to go um, to the left-hand side of it. So I believe it's the only way you can go right now. You can climb back up, and I do something similar later on in the video. But this is just easy for easy sake. Now you want to pull it or um, pull it a little bit and then push it. But you want to get it all the way so you can't pull it anymore and then push it in between the two pillars. There's two reasons why you do this. Reason number one is so you can get around it. Reason number two is it also gives you enough room to pull the other end. And the final reason is because of this it's pretty much right where the treasure is. So you do that, you're going to get the treasure. You, you can you have some leeway either way, but that's just the easiest way to put it. Now, we're going to go back to where we were, and I'm going to fuck up here for a second. I'm going to pull it. 
but in fact you want to push it as far as you can go on this side of it which will which is um not pulling it's pushing so that's going to be i'm going to say it's the right hand side of it which makes sense so you want to push it all the way to the edge now you want to make sure you can't push it anymore because if you cut it off a little too early you will die and i'll explain where now we're going to go to the other side and right here is going to be the other stone part. Now, if you're too, f if it's too far uh, to the right, you will grab onto it and fall to your death. No joke. Now, we have activated the look. You're free cinematic, but we're not free. We want to get a, we want to get a relic. Now, what you want to do is you want to climb up to the top of it, and we're going to do some fast forwarding here of me setting it because it's not really that difficult to set it. It's just a little tedious. Pull forward a little bit. Or pull forward all the way. Actually, pull forward all the way, sorry. God, I'm in a little bit. And then uh, you want to set it so you can't push it anymore. Climb up. And then uh, behind the shoulder is going to be the relic. Sorry for fucking up there, but it's just so hard it's so hard to get straight because I, I do mess it up here in the video a few times. Now you want to set it back to where it was before. Now the next room you gotta son of a bitch, you gotta fucking swim a little bit. I'm swimming. And in the back right hand corner, uh grab a treasure. Now once you finish the puzzle, jump back in the water, of course. This game that's water. Why don't they just name a Tomb Raider underwater? Huh? I'm here all week, unfortunately. No no, I am here all week. I'm tied to this chair. Could somebody call for help. Now, once you get to the ceiling level, you're going to want to continue on progressing, but you want to grab your breath first. Um, I'm thinking here for a second. I'm like, okay, I know the treasure's in here. I can't remember where. So I'm just going to continue. You swim all the way down, and on your left, past this little rock, there's going to be a treasure, and that's it. So thank you for tuning in. I hope you check back tomorrow for the next level, which is Laura's Mansion, and you'll be able to see it at AchievementHunter.com. I uh, can't wait to read your comments. See you later.